It was one of those ordinary days when you think everything was nice and normal. We were heading towards Ishikawa Prefecture and arrived in Fukui on the 1st of January, 2024. Little did we know what was about to happen. Earthquake. One of the strongest earthquakes occurred in Noto Peninsula, recorded at 7.6 Richter magnitude. Tsunami warning as high as 4 meters had been issued by the government. By that time, we were about to check in and the whole house started shaking. We had to escape to the higher ground and change our whole plan. My dad found an elementary school up in the hill and that's where we stayed for two whole hours. There was an earthquake and a tsunami and a crying person. So now people actually gathering up the hill and this is the elementary school because you can't stay in the low ground anymore. This was my first time ever to experience an earthquake. We were scared, but at the same time, we had to admire the Japan government for the warning system that saved many lives. Okay guys, we were just about to check in that time and then there was like an earthquake and it was just like um, six Richters. That's very, very shaky, shaky. The owner of the houses told us that there would be a tsunami. So we um, went on top of the mountain, like on top of the hill where there was a school. I feel pity on the people who actually live me near the river because they have to sleep in the school in the gymnastics place like we had to wait there for a couple of hours and then we booked a new hotel and yeah well now we're safe i, pre I feel pretty safe <laughs> i feel very safe actually now we're about to eat some food which is the most exciting part like if anything happens just stay out of the way of the thing up there. Finally, I'm gonna take it Guys, we're still in Fukui and we actually moved to another hotel. So our plan is to not go near rivers and seas and yeah, I think we're safe now. We're about to go to the Dinosaur Museum and the plan changed again. At 4 a.m. The, uh, the bed started shaking and me and my mom felt everything. And then we accidentally woke up my dad <laughs> who was actually supposed to be the driver of today. So yeah. So we're going to go to the Dinosaur Museum and then we're going to drive about three more hours to go back to Kyoto where we came from. And top tip for you guys, if you are in a natural disaster, first you got to think of where to go. For example, if it's an earthquake and if you're near the sea, there's probably going to be a tsunami soon. So I recommend you going up on the mountain and then... When you're on the mountain, if you booked your hotel near the river or the sea, I recommend you booking another place first and then canceling the old place. Okay, we're gonna make sure that today is gonna be a good day and nobody's gonna cry or anything and my nose is not gonna turn road off the red nose reindeer. Yeah, we're gonna make it all good good. All good to go. See you at the Dinosaur Museum. <laughs> dinosaur museum it's really high up in the mountains something unexpected is we found snow scattered around the road and now i'm playing with a lot of snow this is fun <laughs> oh. 
Let's go. We just finished eating. Now I have my Alice cam. Calling all dinosaur enthusiasts. Today, we're taking a trip to explore the Fukui Prefectural Dinosaur Museum, one of the leading dinosaur museums in all of Asia. Isn't it amazing? Located in Katsuyama, Fukui, this museum is a treasure trove for dino fans. It's no wonder. Fukui is famous for being a gold mine of dinosaur fossils. It houses over 40 dinosaur skeletons. Okay guys, this is a very realistic T-Rex. I don't know if I want to get close to it. <gasps> it's looking at somebody. That is very terrifying. It's even blinking. It's already moving its hand and blinking. No. Nope, I'm not getting close to that thing. <laughs> OMG. But this one, it looks even scarier than a T-Rex. There's a lot of skeletons of dinosaurs and fossils. And also there's this weird looking screen Let's... that shows dinosaurs attacking each other. And a dinosaur eating a dinosaur and I see blood, ew, ew, ew. I'm kind of scared of this screen. Bruh. There. Yeah, that's a flying one. It goes to the other side. So this two TVs give you like the feeling of you're actually standing there and the dinosaurs don't know who you are. Okay, so the first place we see is fossils and bones and even realistic dinosaurs. But they're absolutely not real. I would not like them in real life. These bones are found in Katsuyama. Fukui, which is near where we kind of... Where we are. Yeah. This is what it actually looks like. It's a dinosaur. <laughs> I'm trying to make the mouth. It's so weird. It's like a triangle opening. Look at that. Oh, I think I saw it too. Tiger. So we literally drove past that spot. Now I understand why they have to have dinosaur museums to keep all the bones. So this one is also from Fukui. Yeah. It's amazing that they could actually tell us what happened in the old days and how they actually dug up the fossils. I guess this part is explaining about the early evolution of before dinosaurs were even a thing. Yeah. Did you guys know the first living thing ever is actually underwater? I thought everything came at once. <laughs> I was like, at first I was like, God created everything. Boom, bing, bam, bam. And, yep. Humans are created a long time after. I figured out that this is the evolution of a dinosaur to a bird. A dinosaur with no wings or, or anything, just a normal dinosaur. Has a bird beak. And now, this is a bigger dinosaur. I think it grown and then it's a bigger dinosaur now and then now it has wings and this got smaller turned into more bird like and this turned into a peacock looking like and the last one that we see every day almost every day it's kind of rare an eagle look at it it's so big look at those humongous wings More dinosaur fossils. That one looks like a three mouse. <gasps> Look, it reached from that place to here. What is this thing? I think this is a mammoth. Yeah, it is a mammoth, I think. Yeah. And that's the beginning of reindeers and deers. Guys, warning, don't watch this if you're scared of creepy stuff. Look, 
This is the evolution of monkey to human. And a human is buried. Okay guys, so our recap is, we went into a dinosaur museum and expectedly found some other stuff like the species of the first living thing on the planet to a turtle. <laughs> and also we got to see the evolution of a bird, humans, and other dinosaur fossils, bones, and even footprints and teeth. How? How are they supposed to keep a footprint so long? I thought they only last for like 10 hours or something and they get scraped off. But you could also see the figures that actually move and are, are real sized. They look amazingly real. If you want to explore something about dinosaurs or Earth, you should come here now. And make sure to like and subscribe. See you later, bye.